What's up, where the what webcam man? man? What's the webcam? Okay, thank you all so much. And thanks for stopping by. We're gaming at the Nash House. What's what up, going what on? Up, what up, what up, what up, good people? Oh, there we go. Right there. So um as you see, we about to get in on some Call of Duty today. And they're right there. Oh, we doing we doing pie? Yeah. Oh, second ducky quack quack. Okay, I'm a live stream on um Instagram. All right. So I just gotta go ahead and get some sound stuff. I already got the game coming up right now. Okay. I already went on ahead and did the update before I, we went on ahead and set up the stream. Because sometimes they'll sneak in and say, oh, you need to update this or you need to update that. Like, what? Come on, man. You awesome. Just now figured that out. You're so awesome. You're so, you're so awesome. Hello? No? I'm going to really stop blocking my shot. There we go. All right. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go get my trap right All right. She'll be right back. And how's everybody's day today? Um... Before we go too far into it, of course, there's always those ground rules we got to set. Um, as you see at the bottom message below, uh, the chat is always going to be monitored through uh, the Gaming at the Nash House Facebook page. So if you uh, happen to see this stream through any of our other pages, you can comment, but we don't seem to be answering back. That's because you need to come to the Nash House Gaming Facebook page. So make sure that you come there, check it out. Um, We'll make sure to comment. We monitor the chat, as you see right here. So we'll be able to feed, give you that feedback right away. We're also streaming live on our Instagram. Shout out to yeah, our Instagram shout folks. Out out shout out to y'all. We, we are live. Also Call of Duty. Yeah, turn the camera So we on. are about to play some Call of Duty. We are live streamed through our Facebook page. Yeah, which, matter of fact, let me um, go ahead and bring Nash, that Which is uh, Gaming at the Nash House uh, Facebook. So you'll be able to see it a little bit better, but oh, we wanted to window. show y'all some love because y'all been showing us some love uh -oh. on our web uh, while we're gaming. But I'm about to try to play Call of Duty and I suck. Yeah, so but give us a second. What you mean? Yeah. Body. Hold on. Did you just say yeah? Yeah, I did. I said. I be sucking when I when I do that, but that's okay. Yeah, you Oh, I'm uh, sorry. This uh, is bad. Yeah, no, I got it. So we are playing. We're streaming through Streamlabs, and on our Facebook page, you can actually see the exact game, the whole setup. Um, and what he's doing now, because we're streaming off of a uh, PlayStation. Yep. And what up? What up? What up? What up? What up? Yo, yo! What up, Cassius? What's going on? Uh, we're about to play Call of Duty. Now, the last time y'all played this, I believe. This is amazing. Yeah, yeah, you did all right. I went too, too afraid. Normally, I'd be real scared. And then, uh, yeah. 
There we go. There we go. Go ahead and hit an X on the button there. Right. Chilling. I just got. Yeah, I got to put it back up here. Hold on. Okay. All right, Cash, you just got off. Man, I, this is today been my off day, so I've been chilling, bro. But we about to go ahead and get on. Can Let's I get the camera? There's only one way. Oh, okay. There you go. There you go. Don't say all guy like that. Know your enemy. <laughs> Oh, this, this is set up. Yeah, we'll uh, All right, I guess she wants to show us off before we just jump in. There's a trailer. Yeah. Oh, Cool, cool, cool. Let me switch that back. You know about the crossbow a lot? Nah, man, I, I'm gonna be honest, bro. I just really started getting into this new Call of Duty. I had many times to really get into it, so it's still kind of fresh for me. In the theaters. That's that sound bar, cuz. And I, look, and I got scared. That's that sound bar, cuz. I got all intimidated. All right, go ahead, press X. Okay. Uh, hit back. Hit back. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, so go down. What do I do now? I'm all scared. That was so intense. Go to uh, battle royale. To the right. Yep, there you go. We gotta install it. I thought we already had it installed. We just played. Oh, hey, you know what? I noticed that Call of Duty go through a lot of upgrades, but that's because they're always adding new features. Oh, you gotta go to the bathroom, baby. So it's like that's the new shotgun. That's so I'm gonna try that, man. Do you need to go potty? No, he ain't got. It's always his dog, man. My dog, he be mad that we don't pay him attention. Oh man, don't tell me we we ain't gonna be able to get on on this right now. Okay. Well, can it do an update in the background while we play so, a little bit of Fortnite? I guess so. Um, we just have to switch to Fortnite then. All right. Well, we'll let's do that. All right. Hey, when well, one thing don't work, you pivot. Yeah. So I guess I let Dum Dum out. We just gotta call my baby Dum Dum. Cause he is a Dum Dum. Ain't no Dum Dum. I mean, he he is a little, <laughs> but that's okay. All right. Well, we're gonna change the 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 game around. How do you let this uh install in the background? Um, you can't get out of it. I'm saying this. Close. Yeah, do, do that. So, hold on, hold on. Go back up. Put the, put the I banner know, up. I know. I got it. Oh, put the banner up? Yeah, put the banner up. Tommy. You always want to talk when, the, when everybody else on here. All right. Let's switch, switch over to Fortnite. Yeah. Okay, All so right. we just going to do, do some Fortnite. Fortnite. Uh-uh. Don't come over here messing with me. My uh, my dog, he, uh, he codependent. It's not my fault, though. I tried to say that with a straight face. Right, not this oh, boy. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's the I evening. Know, wait a minute. I know it's whenever you start touching on it. Oh, you going to blame me? <laughs> <laughs> Just like a man. I tell you that. Just like a man to tell the truth? No, to that blame the woman. Take four hours in. That's why I got off of there, man. Man, that, they updates be taking hell. Like, right, don't nobody feel like that right We now. was just playing. Like, what was that? We was all good just Let's a week see. ago. All right, we ain't got the little triangle of death telling us. So. Oh, that, that connection is, <laughs> is trash. Oh, God. Yeah, don't nobody feel like that right now. Hey, but the last time I was playing Fortnite, though, I was getting that beast. Yeah. I wasn't scared. All right, let's do some Fortnite. Let's see. Let, can a sister breathe? Hey. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look at that. Hey, shut Look up. Can't get into it. Now what? So I know. I'm about to. I'm about to faint. Man, they do it the extra. Extra. They get mad when they get mad. You don't like the medicine, do you? I don't. I don't. <laughs> I don't. I don't like it. Get used to it. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to disconnect it because I can't find it. 
So, happy Wednesday, folks. Has your Wednesday been a great Wednesday? Well, it should be. You know why? Because I'm about to entertain you. Oh, dear I'm... God, please don't. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not going to yell like a little baby. I'm going to actually perform like I should. I'm going to take on that action, and I'm not going to run. I'm going to actually do what I came to do, and I'm going to shoot people in their couture. Hey, what are you barking for? You get your barkies out? All right. Um, now what? Don't talk about me like I can't do it. Ah, bet you can't do it like me. Nope, bet you can't do it like me. Nope, bet you can't do it like me. Nope, 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 nope. Bet you can't do it like me. I'm, I'm, a, I'm your annoying wife. If you did something. Yeah, I sat down. Yep, look what happened. So, the actual PS, uh, what is this called? PS Remote Play want to be, uh, a little bougie. It's probably because they really want us to stream Call of Duty. Yeah, but that update, but that, gonna, take that like update gonna take two years, five months, Man, sixteen like, days, I thought it went through the hours. update already. This because that's what I literally did. It said update required for restart. Did the restart. Got out the game. Now I got coming here. It's another one. I'm like, man, I don't hey, like feel like that. But remember what we was talking about earlier? Like we want to invest in getting a better quest. Yeah, we about it. What games come on? Dude, oh, no can idea. you play play this on MetaQuest? Like anybody oh, that's cool, watching, yeah. do you do you know about MetaQuest? Because I want to get one. I, the kids definitely will not be able to touch. Hey that. man, the kids wouldn't even allow to touch the PlayStation Four. But you know, somebody I'm not gonna say no names to point no elbows and look in their general direction. But somebody was like, oh, "Don't let do them kids like that. Let them play." And the controllers have been janky. Games don't download. Right? Oh, controllers ain't controlling. Go. Controllers don't be trolling. Right. Okay. We must have been playing creative. Yeah. Hold on a second. Can we go back? I, that music is terrible. How can we change it? It's just yeah. Terrible. Go go to go yeah. Go to the um. Oh wait a minute! I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just oh, pushing buttons. How do I get out of here? I'm, I'm about to be scared. All right, go to the locker room. Uh, how uh, how do I do that? Right there. Okay. And then this is a little, yeah, go down one more and to the right. Oh my God, yeah. he just keep putting it on that depressant. So I can't hear to see what song it is. I was trying to make sure the microphone. I know. Was yeah, it's two updates. He got more. Mine were for only played it once. Yeah, man, I ain't know nothing about no updates. I thought it updated Wait, already. I can't hear the song. I did. Yeah, I had it unmuted. I, but I can't hear it. You had the volume down. I can't. I couldn't hear it. Man, they always get defensive no, when they don't no, listen. No, 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 I know you ain't. You can't hear, remember? Oh, I can hear perfectly. No, you, can't, you just didn't have the volume up. The volume was already up. No, it wasn't. Yes, it, was. it was not. It was. I know you are, but what am I? A short person. <laughs> I ate just, remember, just remember, when you need pickle jars open and need to reach stuff on the top shelf, don't come over here because I don't listen, remember? Right. So I, you so, don't. So guess what? And you smell like Because guess Fritos. what? You're going to have to open up that pickle jar, reach for that stuff by now yourself. What is, uh, Why you picked it? I didn't. Here? I'm moving. What uh -uh. Is, he got no. all this emotional music. Jesus. This your. Okay, this is this is good. How do I pick this? This is X. Okay. Ooh. All right, hold on. Here. Here. It's so it. emotional. I'll take the controller. Cause first thing we gonna do, we gonna get. Oh, you always want the sovereign Griffin. <laughs> hey, just, I don't know why he wants the spooky ghost child. We gonna get that. And you know what? Get this crap out of here. What's oh, this? you want LeBron James, of course. Oh, Chucky Dougie. What Superman cape at? So you gonna put the Superman cape on him too? Hey, he he trying to make a super LeBron. That dog don't. My, don't my, do my Barbara I know how to slide stuff. Hey, turn it off creative mode. Just make sure we don't go in builds. Listen, I tried builds. 
them professionals that do that, they is not finna just ma 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 and then build around me and then I'm looking at them while they doing the L dance. No, I'm cool. Hey. I go on zero builds. I get some action. Zero builds. I get a little action. Hey, man, that's what I want to be, though, man. Like, when we get back on Call of Duty, I'm going in Resurgence. But in the meantime, we got to do that. So instead of Call of Duty, we're going to go ahead and do Fortnite. All right. I guess it's Fortnite time. Yes, yeah, Fortnite time. Don't let the big kids see. You know they're going to be in here. He finna go tell. Uh-uh. Hey, come here. He finna go tell them we playing Fortnite. You better not tell it. nobody we playing Fortnite. They're going to be in here and take over the if show. Because if they come in here, I'll be you up. <laughs> They're going to turn you over the show. That boy think it's a game. He better, they better go tell him right now. Run, tell that. <laughs> what is wrong with you? You just bust out water wrestle. We about to fight the people. What's that? I don't know. Gold bar carries across uh, matches. And, okay, so that, why can we only carry like 5,000 gold bars? But when you get one, it's just one pile of uh, 5,000 bars. It's like, I see so many of them. I want to pick them all up. Don't limit me. I like treasure. Well, you know what? What? I did not tell you. It sounded like you it did. It sounded like you did, you little snitch. He, he ran to go tell <laughs> you that. dark. No, I did. I a narc. He went to go tell that. Jeez. Well, whatever. Go on, dude. This is mommy daddy time. Hey, listen, the more the more you keep trying to tell us that you didn't tell, the more I think you did tell. I don't believe it. All right. So you taking the first round. Where you going to go? I think the whole, I don't think the board has been discovered yet. <laughs> but you can't go that way. Sorry to tell you this, buddy. This is going to bring you right back. Thank the bus driver. I don't want to. And thank him. No. Oh, this new board? They have a challenge that you have to go around the entire thing, like we did uh, that one season with the helicopter. All right, well, you want to try it? I don't think they got no helicopters. How are we going to get around? Oh, uh, well, I guess driving. Oh, look at that. Bron Bron. My Bron Bron can fly through the air and glow. <laughs> I <laughs> cut to my Bron Bron. My Bron Bron. My Bron Bron. My bra bra. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, where are you going? Uh oh. You just going anywhere? All right. I'm kind of nervous. Silver Griffin! It, listen, wherever you go, you need to make sure you get some heavy artillery. These people ain't been playing lately. I had one guy, he had one of those, what's the deco? Deco? Uh, deco smash? Man, he deco smashed me and I, from all the way up on top of some mountain. I was all the way in the forest. I don't know how he got that far, but he did. It's, it's so many people over there. Don't go over there. It's calamity. Jesus. Suffering Griffin, guide me. Do they not have the uh, Kamehameha's no more? No, they. I think they still got it on there. Okay. I've been getting them lately. Not with since this board, because this is new. This this is a new update from last week. Mm. Hey, what are you gonna do with that sword, bro? Hey, what, what if LeBron James walk, walked around in real life with a, bat, a Superman cape on? And a crown. A and crown. A Batman sword. That's a Batman sword. Oh, LeBron James. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Run. Run, brother. Run. Whoopsie. I miss video games that used to make them sounds. Y'all remember that shit? We was growing up. Oh, what was on? Mortal Kombat? Yep. Super. <laughs> Whoopsie. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Turn around. What they blowing? Oh, gun. Gun, 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 gun. Gun, gun, gun. And, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. Drive, drive, drive. Hey, it's a bomb again. Who dropping bombs? Bombs over back then. If you don't know that song, you too young to be watching this stream. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to dance this hamburger fries. So, all right, you go ahead, catch. You go ahead and do that, bro. <laughs> Oh, oh hamburgers and fries. Hey, we had hamburger steak. Yeah, we did have hamburger Man, steak. I made some hamburger steak and homemade mashed cheese mashed potatoes. Oh my god. Hey, all these bullets. Hey, break the bed, it might be some gold. No, not like that. Pickaxe. Triangle. No, it ain't no gold. 
You got a bullet though. Hit your ready up thing. Danger hero. Which one are you gonna activate? Alright then, alright then. He ready. I love doing that slide. Ugh. Okay. Now what we sliding to? We sliding somewhere. We slide somewhere. Oh, I hear action. You hear it. You hear it coming, babe. Oh. Is that a shotgun? Oh, be careful. Check splash. Get it, chug your shell. Oh, you got spray. Uh, you got the the spray medical kit too. I like that one a little bit better. What about you? Yeah, that was a cool. One. All right, we're in the top fifty. Top fifty. All right, come on with it. If we was on Call of Duty, you would have been dead already. Yes. <laughs> All right, come on, let's do it. I hear some some popping off. Hey, I know. Where's is, is they in that tower? Bruh, they over there by the tower, the other way. The, over there. It's all stuff going oh, on. Oh, man, it's everything going it's on. It's sensory overload. I don't know where to go. They going to get you. And you know what? I, what I miss is Fortnite Bears because it did kind of make it a little dirty. Oh, is that Banana Man? Oh, come on, get him. You on fire. Oh, you on I, fire. I eliminated him. You on fire. That's one. All right. Oh, oh, get him. Balloon man. Oh, he got in the car. He got in the car. Oh, you going to chase him? All right. I, you going to chase down your prey, huh? I heard that. Go on, get him. Go on, get him. Hey, there goes somebody right there. Moment of randomness. Yeah. If you had to choose between Doritos with, like, shredded melted cheese. Uh-huh. Or would you want Doritos with nacho cheese? Like mm. melted, like liquid nacho cheese. I kind of like I kind of like the uh, melted shredded cheese better. So like you like the me melted shredded? What a kind? A little bit better. Um, I like the Mexican blend. You, oh, yeah, Mexican I, so it's a little spicy. Yeah. Me personally, I kind of like it more with uh, shredded cheese. The nacho cheese is cool. Oh, get him! Oh! oh! Illumination time! Drive by. Drive by. Now, like the nacho cheese, it's cool. I think I liked that when I was a kid a little bit more. Yeah. Because, you know, you got all your fingers all in the nachos, all wet. Man, it's everybody everywhere, bro. Hey, hey, they shooting up the car. Hey, they shot my tire. Oh, they shot it up, 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 up. Be careful. Why is you still driving that car, bro? Hey, this is how you drive in real life. <laughs> and be getting us there still. Now what? You be like, oh no, Raylan, help my car. You're such a stuntly man, and I need you to help me. That's how you be sound. That's how she really talk to him. Now let the little sassy princess stay in for you. That's how she be talking. Hey, he trying to run me off the road for real. <laughs> hey, he said he bought it, bought it. He bought it, bought it. I say you bought it, bought it. Bounce, 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 fool. Hey, be careful, bro. Be careful. Oh, be careful. I see his footprint. Turn around. Too. Where he at? There he is. Get him, babe. Come on, come on, come on with it. Oh, what kind of gun he got, bro? Bro, you need to run. Oh, come on, heal yourself. Heal yourself. Come on, come on, get that slap juice. Yeah, this coach right now, I'm coaching, bro. Uh, I'm you, coaching, bro. Coaching. I'm coaching, bro. Hold on, hold on. Come on, get that slap juice. Slap that juice all in your mouth. That uh, didn't sound right. <laughs> no, that did not sound right. That did not sound right. We will not speak of that. Slap that juice in your mouth. I ain't slapping no juice in my hey, mouth. 
See, you ain't gonna be able to pick up uh, no more gold after that. Excalibur rifle, Troy Mag. Hey, your thing ready? Tommy, what you working for? Shotgun will strike if you shoot. All right then, come on. I like those little. Uh, what are they? They're little mods. I like those. They really set help save my life. I was in the middle of a battle, and somebody was way better at aiming than me. So they hit me three times. Three I was times. about to die, and I did some type of a uh, boost where it regenerated me in the sky to save me from dying. That stuff worked. Tommy, wait a minute. All right then. Augments. That's what it's called. Augments. Oh, don't. Oh, man, you took your help. Come on, spray yourself. That's the one thing, like. Come in. That's the one thing that. Oh, 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 oh. is that that deep Deku That Deku smash. That thing dangerous. Come on. I'm going to take it. All right. Oh, that's NPC. I thought that was the actual yeah. person. Sit. Thank you. Hey, got DMR. Oh, you know I love DMRs. Oh, there's somebody hopping around. Wait, 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 wait. Look to your uh, right. He got a deck you smash, baby. Be careful. Oh, oh, come on, come on. Be Oh God. Where are you at? Where are you at? Got him! Oh. It's going. I got four eliminations so far. Oh, shoot. Be careful. Somebody right above you. Oh, shit. You got four? Yep. All right. I'm going to try to see if I can beat through it. Oh, wait. Oh, shoot. Be careful. Oh, shoot. Jump, jump, jump. Ah. Ah. 14 plays. Oh, Come he had a legitimate shotgun. Come, Come on, on man. It. Come on with it. My turn. All right. Well, you go ahead and take that over. All right. Thank you guys for stopping by. <clears throat> Cash, appreciate you, bro, for stopping by. Crystal, what's going on? I know you're watching. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. I'm we about to do all really. I'm I'm gonna try to beat his elimination record, but I'm also gonna try to come in top ten. He came in top fifteen. I mean fourteen, yeah. which is top fifteen. Well, yeah, but I'm saying you came in fourteenth place. That's really good. Considering we weren't even trying to play this game, we was trying to play Call of Duty. Right. But it needed to do a major update, so yeah. great. All right, I'm gonna give you some little snack on. What you about to snack? Can you make me a drink, like a drink, drink? Um, I don't see how much we got left. We'll probably be just you just getting a drink. Oh come on, man! We should went to snugs. Well, we had our kids with us, remember? Oh yeah. 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 But that's we travel okay. deep. Oh no, we got other stuff. <laughs> You're not subtle with that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'll care. My house. <laughs> Man, I'm gonna sit in your chair because this one they done yeah, messed up my chair. What the hell? I knew he was gonna come. Here come I the kids.
Can I play? I knew they was gonna come. It's probably ketchup. It ain't no mustache. Oh, is it? Oh. In a minute, I'm going to need a cinnamon. Not that they doing it. That thing is. Huh? 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 What? Yeah. Hi, baby. All right. Okay, so I'm a little nervous. I don't see a lot of people driving. Oh, yes, I do. Jesus, there's a lot of people over here. Abort, abort, abort. Oh, no. Hey, babe, can you make me a plate of food? Um, I'll give it to Dion and ask him to open it. Mom's trying to play. Oh, man, I see all weapons. Yes. Give me the weapons. Give me the weapons. Yes, please. All right. I don't really want that pistol. I'm going to do good with pistols. Like, if you play if you play Fortnite before, what's your favorite weapon? I don't really do well when it comes. I thought I heard somebody running up. I don't really do well with all of the weapons that you have to be in close range with. You like uh, the on-fire shooting ones? I like the ones, yeah, like a DMR, a uh, sniper rifle, things like that. Yeah. yeah. I like the close-up ones. And the uh, far away ones. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. I really don't care for a pistol. Sometimes I would use like the mythic weapons. Oh, yeah? Now, those will take a lot of damage unless oh. it's like a, uh, one of those pistols. I have no idea why I'm over here driving like this. It's terrible drive. Mm -hmm. Like, you know how to drive in real life, but you can't drive in real life. Oh, I know, right? Yeah. Like, I hey, man, I want, some, I want a ginger ale with my uh, food. Like, I don't know how to drive in a game, but not in real life. Right. Uh oh, I'm about to drive up a cliff. Bow. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. I'm a terrible driver. Ollie, Ollie, oxen free. Let me out of this, I tell you. You crashed into your house. I did. It ain't my house. It's just a house I'm going to try to get some from. Gonna rob it. Oh, that's Shrek's um, toilet. Uh-huh. The outhouse. <laughs> Shrek's toilet. Shrek. I don't like the pistols. Is this the same house I was just at? No, for some reason, when I bought that, I, I really want to watch um, Shrek now. You want to watch Shrek? Well, y'all can go watch Shrek instead of leave me and Daddy on our game date. Yes. Go watch Shrek. I think Shrek is on Peacock. All of them, too. Huh? Well, uh, start start at uh, Netflix. Search for it. If you don't find it, then go to uh, Peacock and or or YouTube. It don't matter. Yeah, yep, cause this we on a we on a gaming date. Ooh, it's a boulder. Only I will find that interesting. Well, I'm, 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 
Shotgun and a, and a Superman cape, bro. He Superman, bro. I'm about to get top 50. All right, you can bring it on over. Got a little dinner for you. Thank you. Can you put extra ketchup on top, please? Hey, thank you all for stopping by. Of course, we're definitely going to still do the Injustice stream. Probably going to do that tomorrow. So we got no wrestling watch. Tomorrow. Oh, that's what you're doing after you get off work? Are you are you training tomorrow? Uh, no, I'm not training tomorrow. So you just work in your regular schedule? Yeah. All right. I hear a treasure chest. Where is it? I see her here. It's right here. Or is it up there? Look, look like it might be up there. there All right, go. thank you. Oh, shoot. He got to get his parkour. All right, they out there shooting. Are you doing something? Okay, what kind of weapon is this? Oh, it's a DMR. My brother, my brother, my brother. They out there blowing some stuff up. You hear me? I'm a little scared. Um, but I ain't gonna punk out. I ain't gonna punk out, but I'm a little scared. I ain't gonna punk out though, but I'm scared. <laughs> Thank you for your encouraging words. Just don't be soft. Where are you? Come here, little piggy, on my back. Uh-uh. I'm not befriending the pig. I was just saying, come here, piggy. Don't get jealous, Tommy. Tommy get jealous whenever I like other animals. Hey, where my co-host? Ooh, key master. Key master, I like that. I want to be the master of all keys. <laughs> I was just looking for. It. I said, "Where my co-host at?" Oh yeah. Hey, would you like to take off and talk about food? Are you, are you ready to eat? Yeah, I'm hungry. All right, we gotta get you to the circle. All right. Uh-uh. I was just in it. Mmm. So tell me your opinion. When we started playing this game, it was when they had the Marvel series, right? Mm -hmm. Sit. Was it important for you to just play the game and you reach the checkpoints whenever? Or is it important for you to look at like the checkpoints that you need to hit and then play it? Oh, I'm sorry, I gotta start trying to get this one. Mm -hmm. But I would say with a game like this, you really can't go wrong with either or. Oh. What is that? I think that was that Deku Smash thing. Oh. It's around here somewhere. Like, I'm literally on top of it. Mm. Let's zoom through. Oh, I can't worry about that right now. So 
Max's over here somewhere. Hmm. There it is. Where are we? It's like a supply drop. Hmm. It's obnoxious. <laughs> I don't know, I kind of like all these grills you got there. Thanks. I did real good, huh? Yeah. You probably got- Oh! oh they hit you with that one shot, too. Dang! Well, this is your turn, so I'm about to <laughs> All right. Hey, man, but you know, those things are targets, though. Mm -hmm. That's why I need a Nimbus cloud to get the hell up out of there. Jacob, what's going on? Thanks for stopping by and watching. I wish it was Warzone, but we Fortnite tonight. <laughs> I don't got to check for all the updates. I thought I did. But that's how I be, though. That's how I be. What up, what up, what up? ZS, no, Z -sneak. Z Sneak. What up? Mm -hmm. We want to reply back to people. Yeah, thank you for stop that. Our Instagram audience, thank you for stopping by, watching our stream, getting our stream on. Once I heard someone go. I, I thought I heard dad too. I was, I was like, uh oh. Uh, no. You are, you, you are being beckoned. You are being beckoned. Listen, don't beckon me. I got took out with something mean on mm -hmm. that last one. I don't want that death you smell. Ain't keep that. <laughs> But no, thank you. Good. Thank you. Of course, those watching on Facebook, we appreciate y'all so much. Thank you for stopping by and gaming with us here at the Nash House. Yeah, um, thank you. Everybody's going over there. I wonder what's up south of this mountain. We got a party invite from BFFS. I'm not trying to like one of the kids. Yes, <laughs> I ain't talked to you, so I'm not joining. You. Sorry. And it's nothing against y'all. I'm pretty sure y'all are wonderful people. Ooh, look at that guy. <clears throat> Excuse me. I like, you know what? Mm -hmm. People kind of hate on grenades, but I like having grenades around. I like the grenades too. I like all of the bombs. Especially if the person is too far away and I don't have the artillery to hit them from, the, from where I'm at. Yeah. Without getting closer. Come here, Mr. I'll throw them out. I'll be right back, baby. Okay. Move it to the camera. Mm. You know how that Oh, no. I'm outside the circle. Oh, dear God. What's that? Oh, God. I know. Is that Dakota? No. Oh, yeah. You know well, it's, it's, it's more like chicken over here. Mm. It is chicken. Back in the circle. The circle is our friend. Oh, we sliding on this ice, baby. Okay, I'll be your girl. Leave us on that gaming date. Thank you. Thank you very much. 
Oh, this is smart. Look at that. Look at that slide. I saw you getting your slide on. Everybody get the slide on. Everybody, everybody get the slide on. What? You remember that? Mm -hmm. Now, people are talking about rolling. Though. <laughs> I know. I know. Sure. Everybody get your roll on. Were they talking about deodorant? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know about big time. Fuck no. I don't know how. You'd be a little bit more credit than that. Hell no. I hear action. Rough. Rough. Big dog action. Rough. Oh, get him. Get him, baby. Get him. Oh, they over there fighting. Let them fight. Oh, shoot. Hey, you just throw bombs everywhere, bro. <laughs> hey, oh, somebody died. Yeah. Oh, okay. Get him. You're missing him. I know. Hey. Oh, I was Dang. ready to show him. He had an exotic gun. Dang! I'm gonna throw something at this thing. Don't throw nothing. That's not nice. I'm gonna have an exotic gun. Go ahead, ready up, though. You got it. Okay. Man, whack. Hey, that was whack. That was whack. This all wrong, though. Get him, baby. Get him. Get him. <laughs> thank you, thank you guys. I see y'all commenting on Dami underscore Nash. They're commenting on that. Now, thanks for tuning in. We appreciate y'all. Thank you for rocking with us when we're playing the game. Yep, appreciate it. This is our downtime. It's really my off day from um, creating reels. So when I'm off, taking an off day, I still want to have some fun. Uh, and gaming is one form of fun for me. So, y'all yeah, get to share that with me too. I just got to go out here and give 110 for shit. <laughs> I got to give 100. Oh, that was an error. Oh, 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 oh. What's this? It had an explanation mark up there, so I thought it was important. No, it's just telling you about new items. Oh, it? okay. Just go ahead, hit that. Go ahead to play. Hit that triangle, cuz. All right. I didn't know. I wanted to do that, cuz. Let's go. Oh. Let's go. You got everybody. My paper to get you. Y'all done. Y'all done. Yeah. Go ahead, baby. Okay. You got this. She was all y'all. Yo, you mad because you got killed with an exotic gun? Yeah, exactly. And they probably like, they the probably got this uh that monthly subscription thing that got like exclusive uh weapons. Um, PlayStation um, Cup. I never was able, I've never been able to play the PlayStation Cup. Ooh, 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 it's all right to be a dog. dog, dog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a dumbass dog. Uh, uh, come on, rub, 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 rub. Uh, 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 oh, oh, oh. I'm oh, rubbing so hard right oh, now. Oh, oh. Uh. <laughs> oh, I love you, Tom. You gotta get down, baby. Uh, hey, uh, get your big ass out. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get down, Tom. Come on, Tommy. Hey, y'all got all these emotes and barely even use them. Y'all don't use it. Y'all don't use these emotes at all, man. No. I just don't understand why we got fifteen hundred emotes. Uh, there's thirty-eight emotes, babe. Babe. Yeah. Yeah. The, the power up one. Oh, I still have it. You have two parts twice. Exactly. What I look for is some front center, cuz. Uh-uh. He's on the second point. Not cuz. I want to go straight down. 
to this little green part right here. Don't know why it stood out to me. Because it was green in there. <laughs> right. And missed all this stuff. So all this stuff got snow, but there's this patch there's of this land one there. Patch. It ain't you. It's just so, oh, so green. It caught my attention, though. It's, it grows like so much. It's like a peninsula. Yeah. And why somebody landing over there? Come on, man. Now you got to go into the blizzards, into the snow. Y'all just going to take my little idea. I ain't got no weapons. You landed before I did. Come on. Hey, you see what I did throw all the grenades, so. Hey, I, I love those grenades. Like, back off. Back off. Back off. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Trick. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. All right, done. Call of Duty done. I don't know. We're already invested in this now. Call of Duty. <laughs> of right. love. Say what? Call of Duty. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> Can I go up? Yeah. Call of Duty. Of love. Say, Say what? Watch. Call of Duty. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ah. 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 Call of Duty of Love. Say what? Call of Duty. Ooh, 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 ooh. Call of Duty. <laughs> Say what? <laughs> the fact that we were really dedicated to that was hilarious. Hey, we had we had the whole thing down. Oh, I don't want no bananas and corn. I don't want no bananas and corn. Don't do that. Wait a minute, that's the oddest combination. You want some bananas and corn? Huh? Ooh. Thunder shotgun. Thunder, thunder. Now get it out of here. That's one personal space. <laughs> Two personal space. Three personal space. That's my personal wait, 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 space. Wait, wait, wait. Go back around. Okay. Turn, 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 turn. No, no, turn another way. I saw, I thought I saw like a special button. With this ball? No, no, turn to the left. No, no, yeah, keep right there. Oh, that's the, that's the exotic gun. Yep. So we now have exotic weapons available on Fortnite. Ooh. Doom, 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 hey. doom, doom, doom. Sounded like something has some thunder. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, you want to get that. You want to stand in the fight? Oh, what the fuck was that? I'm sorry. What, what you going to do? Well, I, I see footsteps, but I'm not sure where they are. Hit that button. Hit that button. Yeah. Hit that parkour. Okay. Oh. They must have got on the uh zip line. Yeah, they out of here. Thank goodness. I was trying to get to that treasure chest. It was so loud. Ooh, splash. Here, switch out. No, switch out that, uh, yeah, that thing. We got action. That's how I need that butt action up here. Yeah. Hey, I think you can jump on that thing. Yeah. Summer Griffin! We fly, fly away from that danger in that sky. Oh, no. Yeah, just keep, keep following the line to get you to the surface. I wasn't trying to get yeeted. Yeet. Yeet. Hey, there's a car down there. That's two cars, and they're on ice. They went for the yeet. Ooh, 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 ooh. They went for the yeet me. Oh, 
All right. Oh, I think I might have broke it. Oh, come on. Come on, car. We can do it. Oh, the boulder's in the way. Oh, what's up use? I'm stick it. Well, that was fun. That was nice. But I'm alive. Ooh. On channel five. It's just bullets. Bullet, bullet, bullet. Ooh, I see treasure. Treasure. That is what you are. I don't like that. What is that? Oh, it's a damn walk. I'll tell you, you got like 20 shotguns. Hey, ooh, I can really swim in this little water. You gotta stay like that little water. Little water. Little water. I hear a car coming. I'm not sure how close it is. But it ain't that close. If you're being off, it ain't that close. Yeah. Ooh. Mid miss. You have to give up some. We had two of those. Oh, oh right, shoot. You're right. Oh, what is it? What is it? What is it? Go the other way. Other way? Where at? Right to your right. I looked. I didn't see nobody. Yeah, they were up there shooting at you. Well, they told me some, some little punks. Catch me outside. Well, how about that? Oh, shoot, I, I didn't even realize we made it past top 50. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I like that. I like that. I like that a lot. Woo! Man, I just I just got over inside the dark one now. <laughs> now I gotta go further. Yeah, it's just adventure time. Now I hear it. I hear the trouble. It is a brewing. I hear the trouble. It brews today. And why does a rock? It's like a cliff. It's a baby cliff. You see it? It's a circle of love. <laughs> <Go away. laughs> and it moves us though. <laughs> oh, <baby. laughs> Through faith and love. Oh, man. We grew up with the Lion King. Uh, yeah. the I never saw the, like, the, the live action one. Um, me neither. I try. I mean, we got Disney Plus. Oh. I try. But you tried watching Beauty and the Beast live action. I would say this the Jungle Book live action was pretty cool. Um, how about uh Aladdin? Oh look now that Aladdin, I they, really liked Aladdin. Hey, Will Smith was the same he Aladdin. did. Even though everybody don't like Will Smith right well, now. I don't mind Will Smith. So he slapped somebody. Like pretty much hey. he did what everybody wanted to be Chris Rock. <laughs> Just slap the shit out of him. There's a lot of people that want to slap Chris Rock it's, for years. Especially especially when he used to be Pookie. You remember when he was Pookie? <laughs> they must have changed it because I'm able to pick up way more gold. They must have heard me complaining, huh? Or you have like 4,500 in gold right now. I don't need that. You ain't gonna take the hammer? No, I don't know what to do with these things. I'm trying to survive, like for real, because if I get the hammer, I'm not gonna be surviving. I need, I need to charge them. Baby, I need to Somebody got that hammer. 
I heard it. I was about to say, can you sprint for me? Sprint, baby, sprint. Sprint, there it is. I didn't want the deck you smashed, did he? Oh my God, he runs so slow. He's supposed to be baby brown bar. He should not be running this slow. I heard somebody's driving. Yeah. Top 14. Oh, it died. You didn't put it on right. All right, I got some XP points for opening up that little deck you smash uh, box. Oh, I ain't want nothing in there. I just wanted to open it. It's a whole bunch of them. Oh, oh, well, who's shooting at me? Come on, let's have a let's have a shootout. But let me see your face. Who's oh, they're from behind you. I, right there, right there, to right. God damn it! God, please. Well, you 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 ran up and got done up. I did run up, get done up. But you did play stem. F you, nephew. And just gonna take my shit. Well, my baby was gonna get you, but you know, you stuck up on me like a punk. Hey, hey, who wanna fight? I'm down for fight. It is on the screen. That's right, your phone is on. I know. I know. Let's go, y'all. It was awkwardly quiet. It was awkward. Right? Now we live. All these special guns that they get. No, I like the salt rifles. Oh, do you? Yeah, see, they're they they got they're like medium range. Okay. So I don't have to be too close, but I don't have to be too far either. I got you. Yeah. Wanna know what made Michael Jordan right great? Having an excellent mid range. Mm, excellent. Party time. Excellent. Doodly 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 do.
No sovereign griffin! <laughs> you get so excited to say sovereign griffin. I don't blame you though, it's kind of fun. You have to call upon thy sovereign griffin. Call upon thy sovereign griffins! Where's your brother? Okay, well, Zion should be able to pick it. Okay. Yeah, I don't like picking. Yes, you do. No, I don't like picking. Okay. All right, I'm on the undiscovered part here. Oh, okay, new landmark. I like that. I like that a lot. I like my day. <laughs> You would be really far away from the, uh, what's the name of it? Where is it? It's underneath of you? No? All right, splash, splash. Who wants some slash? I'm just being destructive right now. Hey, ain't nothing wrong with being destructive. So look up. How's that still up? <laughs> I don't know, but I was supposed to get the goodie, so I ain't got it. It's up there in the ceiling. I just did all that. There you go. Goodies. My goodies, my goodies, my goodies. He got my goodies. Slap juice. Slap juice. about to get shotgun. Rough. Rough. What is that? that is that a shockwave? That's something. Your, um, your, your augments is ready. Oh, that's a treasure chest right behind you. <gasps> and it's the purple boom boom stick. I've heard that. Do you want the shirt? It's a boom boom stick. It's a boom boom stick. Okay, so the shield, you know, matter of fact, let me sit down. All right, let me stop playing. I actually need to get to the circle. Oh, So I keep looking for ammo. Let's see what we got. Yeah, that's why I want that bonus damage. That'd be nice to have.
All right, got the move. Oh, God. Oh, damn it! Hey, what is my question? Bob and Dottie says we was playing the game to put on my Super Mario Brothers pajama pants. Oh, uh, yeah? Yep, see? Alright, we're here. Right. I'll see you. This is nice. Here, you can yeah. go ahead and try Okay, let me see right there. Alright, cool. Thank you. Man, I had that one good game. It's been trash ever since. Yeah. Hey, did you want to switch over to COD? Uh. Oh. What? Okay. What's wrong, Tommy? What's wrong, buddy? Mm -hmm. What's wrong? Okay, sit down. Tommy, you want to play the game? You want to play? Say rough! Rough, rough! Do it for the treat! Rough, rough! <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I'm good. We'll check my notifications and stuff. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I could have gone. Oh, no, I'm going to let it distract you, though. I need to go. Oh, 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 oh,
This must be shotgun land. Yeah. It turns me into uh, like a ghost. Oh, a DMR. Hello. What is that? Uh, they're fighting. Okay. Hey, Dad. Yeah. <laughs> they concern themselves with what other each other. They, they just telling each other. Okay, I deal with it, son. I don't with it right now. I deal with it later. Yeah, and I just picked my nose, y'all. Sorry. I'm a human. <laughs> so what? Are you human? Yes, humans pick their nose. It happens, okay? Are you human? I am a human. Human music. Human music. Do, 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 do. There you go. Is it right? I love treasure chests. Oh my goodness. Just a huge, huge, please. Oh, I gotta get some stuff. Yeah, you've been playing. Yeah, you're playing. Hey, was it me or did the game glitch? Ooh, look up a little bit this yeah. right man. Oh, yeah, uh, somebody see, nearby. See, see. Oh, people in front of you. Get that yeah. car, get that car. Drive, get the car, drive, drive. Uh-huh. Put that music off. Hey, they stole our car. <laughs> hey, you know, them off-road tires. She ain't got some treat. Okay. Ah, uh, you didn't get me. You didn't get me. Damn, You didn't get me. You're right. <laughs> oh. You didn't get me. Oh, okay, they missed. You didn't get me. <laughs> Hit an opponent. I did. <laughs> Good job. Top 50. Don't sink, car. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. Keep going, car. Keep going, car. Alright. Hey, I never understood what the telephone thing was for. Oh. Come on, Carl. You you'd have been through the river and all. You can do that. I know I'm a terrible driver, but uh just roll with it. Hey, you get it. <laughs> oh, just wait, roll right with there. it. <laughs> yeah. Just roll with it. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> oh, you eliminated somebody. Good job. Oh, thank you. Oh, just another one. Get him. Ram him. <laughs> this, is, this takes crazy taxi to a whole nother level. <laughs> they closed the door. <laughs> Oh, okay, landmark claims. Oh, there's a victory crown. Now drive, drive, drive. There's a purple one. Where's my car? Oh, shoot. Get it, go, 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 get out of here. <laughs> come on, come on, let's try, try, try. Oh. <laughs> hey, that was a kind of fun. You got first hit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. Ram it. 
Oh. <laughs> Turn around, camera. Oh, we keep missing. That's reverse. Oh, wait a minute. That's an NBC. I'm not messing with you, guys. Oh, God. Oh, no. He got to take heat, too. I'm no. <laughs> you waste gas trying to try fight him. I'm good. I see now. Oh no, don't run low on fuel. I've been having a good time. Oh, that's for George. I'm George Storm. Oh. You gonna run out of gas trying to do that? I thought I was going towards the circle. My oh, bad. No. Got the car, got the car. Oh, shoot. Run, run, run. Sprint. Get out of hey, there! Only, you only had so much sprint power. Get out of there! Oh, shoot. I'm about to turn around and start bus. What is it? They're right there! Oh, oh God. <laughs> oh, God. That's hey, top 25 ain't bad for somebody that really don't know what they're doing. But, are we about to do some more or are we going to uh, switch over to Call of Duty? We can get around and call it through All right. Let me put the banner up while we do that switch. Okay, hold on. It's time for some Call of Duty action. Go ahead, babe. It's time for that cod. That cod, cod, cod. It's time for that cod. Cod, cod, cod. It's time. It's time. It's time for that COD. Ooh, ooh. If you don't know what COD is, it's just Call of Duty. It's a little fancy acronym, okay? I feel fancy when I use it. We call it COD in the game and community. What we playing? War Warzone? Yeah, Warzone. Yeah, Call of Duty this or Warzone 2.0. 2.0? Okay. Supercar 2.0! <laughs> <laughs> All right, you want me to go ahead and, and uh, reshare the screen? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. All right, there we go. Okay, what's up, Tommy? Did you want to buy the battle pass? Uh, no. Okay. I want to see what comes with it. Like, do we get like customized stuff? Everything on here just always feels extra intense. Why is that a hundred dollars? I don't know. That's why I got Oh my god, that is so expensive. Oh, look at that look like a movie. All I'm right. scared, y'all. This, this is really intense. He's like, yeah. Yeah, I'm ready to shoot some stuff. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. 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 Yeah, bro. Yeah. All right. The update didn't take four hours, thank God. <laughs> it was going to take a long time. Oh, hey, baby. Uh, yeah, baby. Uh, what time is it? 7.40. Man, this day has seemed like it's been like extended, like long. How was, how was your day, your Wednesday? I know this is your off day from your regular job. We got a couple things done. You know, we've been able to get our bathroom together. You know, we got to do laundry baskets for the boys. That was pretty exciting. Yeah. Well, I ain't going to say exciting. Oh, my gosh. Are we, are we turning into like old people? We get oh, excited God. over going to buy new laundry hampers? Oh, God. I'm so excited about these new laundry baskets. Because I think what it was, <laughs> I think because they've been dealing with that old broke one for songs broken, it made their room look terrible. Oh, yeah, because, uh, uh, well, Dion, he might be tall, but he's like nine wearing grown man ass clothes so when he put two outfits in that little bitty basket oh man it take up the whole basket <laughs> plus on top of all they little bitty clothes and then that so it takes some time yeah buddy all right we're about to shoot up some stuff yeah hey but we them old people that get happy over buying a basket my baskets and shower curtains oh 
because that shower curtain that I got is pretty, I tell you what. Turtles, starfish, seahorses. Yeah. I'm going to go get me some cookies and milk. I got three. I need some milk. Ah, you need milk? Uh, hey. hey. <laughs> you naughty, daddy. You naughty. Hey, so do you want to make this a grown folks edition live so we can keep talking about some, some subjects? We can. Let's see where it goes. I'll let you know. No, I'm saying, where you want to go? I'm open. You open? Yeah. All right. I like it. You want some cookies and milk, too? Uh, no, I'm cool. Thank you. I already had ice cream cone. That's, that's enough sweet stuff. Yeah, I need sugar. We always need sugar. Oh, shoot. You in practice and they busting like this? Oh, God. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, get him. Get him. Oh, got him. I don't watch this. Hey, this is just so much more intense. See, Fortnite is colorful. They dancing. Hey, see what you're Pop, 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 pop. Get down, boy. Oh, God, I, I completely missed where I was trying to land. Oh, no, 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 my right there. No, I want to get right there. So I'm like, ha, ha, pop, 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 pop. Are you playing Resurgence? No, I'm just playing right here. Oh, okay. I was going to say, I hate that one. Oh, man, Resurgence is lit, man. It's tripping. It's lit for somebody who already is ready for that action. I am the person who likes to sneak into the game. No, no, no. You have to be ready for that action, fellas. No, I like to sneak into the game, get my feet a little wet, and then if I see you while I'm getting my feet wet, Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> <laughs> the Amalik airports. I don't, want, I don't think I want to be at the airport. Which circle will be at? Right, right over on that side. You got a lot to work with. Yes, let's see. You got a lot to work with. You can jump now and just kind of migrate. Dude, it's so intense. We're going to the oil place. Okay. We're going to the oil place to see. Okay, that's a good sign. This is kind of just like kind of wait. Yeah. That's why I don't like resurgence because you gotta get right into the action. But hey, but sometimes it just it wake you up though. All right, let's go. I ain't ready. I ain't the one of them people. Don't wake me up. Leave my ass asleep. <laughs> No, we don't. <laughs> hater. I love you, babe. But you're still a hater. Hate, 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 hate. You're a hater and you crush a lot. Mm. Listen, listen here. You have to understand, I come from the most hateless ass group on Facebook, GSPN. Okay? <laughs> That's all we do. The group, literally, the group. We're about to hit the tenth anniversary of GSPN. Of y'all just just hate. And the group was literally made, and even uh, my boy Lake, shout out to him. He even admitted 
that the group was made so he could have somewhere to hate on LeBron James in peace. <laughs> okay. Yes. I, I, so I, he don't like Rob Rob. I mean, he he kind of puts up with him now. It, it's, 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 he has a complicated relationship, especially because LeBron plays for the Lakers, who's his favorite team. Oh, that's the only reason he want to put up with him. I get it. I get it. And if you can't, if you don't, if you can't join them, I mean, if you can't beat them, join them. Like there you that. go. So change, change gears. Since you you brought up sports, uh, now a lot of our fans don't know that we are avid uh, wrestling fans. Uh, between the storyline between the Bloodline and Sami Zayn, excuse me, with the WWE, and what's going on between the Elite and who's the Elite fight? They just had like they just had like a, uh, another match with Top Flight. Okay, with Elite and Top Flight on AEW wrestling, what do you think? And with MJF, what do you think is next for pro wrestling fans? What What do you think that they really are building up to? Um, I would say this with the uh, Bloodline. I would say this WrestleMania is going to definitely be the end. So you think that's going to be the end of the story? I think, I think it's going to conclude at least the big, or at least it's going to be a big, big development as far as like where they go next. I know. I, I didn't know like, you can get on train. I didn't know. This is great. I'm sorry. Squirrel. <laughs> Squirrel. <laughs> but what were you saying? I'm sorry. Yeah. So I think we're going to kind of see. The, the the whole bloodline story come to a head. Oh God, it's taking me out the circle. Oh, you just jumped off so smoothly. So, what do you think that that means when it comes to the story comes to an end? Where can you see from your expertise of being a, a wrestling fan? Because I'm fairly new. Right. I uh, you taught me what you really brought me into the wrestling world. What last year? Yeah, it, it, it was around that because I'd be watching, but you like, oh, whatever, you know, you didn't really. I, ain't re I would go and watch my reality shows that was toxic, you know, Real Housewives of Atlanta and, and stuff like that. But I got bored and I got tired of seeing the drama and I wanted to spend more time with him. So I decided, no, what did you show me? You showed me like an old. Um, I think because I think you asked about wrestling. Okay. Right? And you was like, can we watch wrestling like and he was like, you wanted, to, I just turned on some. I started showing you uh, some of my favorite matches. I'm like, oh, watch out now. Yeah, and I yeah. I think it was Charlotte. It was, he showed me Brock Lesnar. Right. I think the first one I showed it was Kurt Angle versus Shawn Michaels. I okay. I introduced you to Kurt Angle. Okay. And then, like, you wanted to see more Kurt Angle stuff. I did, because I really like Kurt. Excuse me. And then we went down with Charlotte Fleur. <laughs> Yeah, I think once I showed you Charlotte. Man, I like, love me some Charlotte Flair. When I tell you she embodies all of my spirit animal, I love it. Um, and then it kind of branched out to uh, Becky Lynch. Yeah, it's, we used to want to watch more of the women. I wanted to watch more of the women. Nia Jax, Shayna Baszler, uh, Bailey, yeah. um, Bianca Belair. You know, I started learning more about the four horse women and and everything and then we went down the road to uh leave my wigs alone bro it, it, was, so it was on the couch right uh, there I just, ah yes you did <laughs> then we went on the road uh to learn more about aw because you would watch that on wednesdays right so i started learning about orange cassidy um darby allen and then sting Returned. Yeah, Sting returned. He returned while I was I was getting to know a little bit more about wrestling. But I remember Sting from being a child and seeing my dad watch wrestling. But he ain't like answering the question, so I always got kicked out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was like, "Who is that?" He uh uh go on out. Oh, but I needed to know, you know. And in a way, I kind of put because um, my uncle, you know, felt he, me and him would watch wrestling together. Right mm -hmm. now, he when one of his old jobs he had to um he had to work late. Okay. So he didn't get to watch it, and you know we didn't have DVR back then, so right. it was kind of up to me to kind of that keep part. Him up. I had to keep him up to date on what was going on. Also, he you kind of wanted to give him like a play by play of everything. Right. So I kind of had to really pay attention, so I made sure I didn't leave that out. Okay. Okay. Ooh, they're back. Um. So, 
if you don't mind sharing with our viewers, when when did you actually first do you recall becoming a wrestling fan? Um, I was really young. I'd say probably like four or five, and I seen it on TV one day. It was like back in the day with like Hulk Hogan and Ultimate Warrior and the Macho now, Man. Now, wait, 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 wait. Which Hulk Hogan? Did we have Hollywood Hulk Hogan? So when I was a kid, it was the red and yellow Hulk Hogan. You know, say your prayers and hey, brother, Hulkamaniacs and all that. <laughs> you know, it was Macho Man. Okay. Oh, yeah, Jiggy oh, Brothers. Yeah, Jiggy so, Brothers. Uh, it, was a, it was the little wild, crazy characters, right? Okay. I, it was like I stopped watching for a minute to like I got back into middle school, okay. and it was just one day I just kind of was like scroll because I knew uh, Pep kind of watched it late, but I would be asleep, mm -hmm. so I probably saw like bits and pieces of it. But then one night I saw I started watching it. Um, I think sixth grade. Okay. I started paying attention to Hulk Hogan. Oh, 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 oh! We got action. You start paying attention to Hulk Hogan, what? Right, Hulk Hogan wasn't Hulk Hogan anymore. He was Hollywood Hogan. What, what happened to Hulk Hogan? <laughs> hey, when he when he turns to Hollywood Hogan, he, like, he looks so dirty. He looks right, like, and then, like he was just it, it's just like something like his switch. Oh, right. dirty he is, babe. Watch out! Wow! Oh, let's go. Now, what you say about Hollywood Hogan? Yeah, Hollywood Hogan. Um, he was just out here running the buck, but it was so cool. He spray painted the belt. He came out to um, Jimi Hendrix's Voodoo Child. Okay. Like, I really like that song. Because I told you, like, I was a little more in tune with music. Yeah, so, I can really, I can understand that. You and I are both have a love for all different genres of music. Like, that's one thing that we can bond on. Right. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Yeah. So, with, with Hollywood Hogan, he's coming out um, <laughs> in the black and the white. Now, what did that sign do to you? What did the merry-go-round do to you? <laughs> hey, you about to run out of gas. What'd you say? Yeah, so I see him come out. He got on black and white. He got the belt, and he spray-painted NWO on it. He spray-painted that shit? Yeah, he spray-painted NWO <laughs> on the belt. To let everybody know that belt belonged to the NWO. They were taking over WCW, and no one could stop them. And he would play the belt uh -huh. like a guitar. Hey, hey, no more snacks. Hold on, baby. I'll be right back. Okay, dang. Sharing personal stuff is what happens. I just had to uh, make sure that uh, the little kid wasn't feeling good. What do you got? Uh-huh. Give it here. One more cookie. Go get the pajama going. Yeah. Oh, you want to hear from somebody you want? Drag sex? No. You're being tracked. Oh no! Now back to you. You said that. Uh, what did what did you say about Hollywood Hogan? So he was coming out. It was just a presentation of Hollywood Hogan. He come out uh, with the belt and he got the NWO spray painted on it, and he had the spray beard on. Man, his and, beard was so trash. But then he would also be playing the belt like a guitar. Yeah, so I could see why you thought that was cool. So. Let me ask, because I know that the NWO was a really big, big part of our generation. Um, what about the Attitude Era? I mean, it was... Uh, I know, you're trying to see who's coming around. Oh. What happened? I don't know, I don't know but the... Oh, 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 they're behind you. Turn oh, around. Ah! Oh. Uh, Oh no! Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> He's like dumbass. <laughs> oh, you got sniped. He waited so I back into sight. Oh, oh man! I'm gonna let you have another round because I actually like uh, asking you questions while you're doing this. Hey, this is fucking terrifying. Like, <laughs> if I got captured. And they come in my face with a wait, 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 I'm scared. Sound like Curse Cowley Dog. Oh, 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 oh. I want to do the punching. You ain't even do that one. No, they we ain't get a chance to. You need help? Yeah. Where he at? Where he at? Where he at? Oh. Oh no. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, did they get you? Yeah, they got me. GG's though, GG's. Yeah, yes, I did. Oh, 
right. So, answer me this. All right. Play him. From what you see in uh, the new generation of wrestling, and that, that comes from not just from AEW, uh, but also with the new people like Austin Theory coming on scene, um, Roxanne Perez and NXT, mm-hmm. Braun Breaker. Uh, what do you see is really going to take off of these type of figures in wrestling? I say this: what's going to benefit Braun Breaker a lot is the fact that he has pedigree. Okay, right, so cause he because he his, his family, his family like, has been know, his, yeah. His dad and his uncle were like one of the greatest tag teams ever. Well, what what uh what generation? Uh, so he will probably be second generation. No, I mean like what? Uh, not generation, but what year were his uncle, his uncle and his dad like wrestling? When the eighties, the nineties, like late eighties, going through the nineties, and then in the early two thousands, they kind of split apart. And Scott Steiner became a big single star. Wow, is that his dad or his uncle? That's his uncle. Now Rick so, Steiner was still, now Rick Steiner, who's his dad. His dad was um, still a big star, but. As far as like becoming a world champ and everything, Scott did that, and he changed his look. He got blonde hair, and then he got his arms got he called himself <laughs> Big Papa Pump. Papa Pump. So said, this goes out to all my freaks out there. <laughs> called himself the Big Bad Booty Daddy. Big Bad Booty Daddy. Hey, I will tell you this: the one thing that I have learned about wrestling so far since I've been a fan with you um, is that they are going to say some corny stuff. They Big. Are. Booty what? The big what bad like booty day. <laughs> they gonna say some corny Everybody. stuff. Big Papa Pump, there's your hookup. Holler <laughs> if you hear me. <laughs> um, but as far as like what you see when it comes to the women division, based off of it, oh, he shot you while you was in the air. That ain't even fair. Based off the women division and how wrestling, how women used to be viewed in wrestling. Uh-huh. Versus how they are viewed currently. With Bianca Belair being our uh, Raw Women Champion, right? And she is a, a, a natural born athlete, young black woman. She in her 20s, right? I think, no, she's in her early 30s. She's in her early 30s now. With her being so prominent in and dominant in that field, does that like, it, how does that sit with you since you knew how women were treated back then with, like, China and stuff like that? It's it's progression. You know, the women are really getting a chance to show what they can do and give the same opportunities as the men. Now, you don't see, like, a full car full of women's matches, right? But the presentation of how they're presented, they're not just, like, you know, doing cat fights or just rolling around. You know, they really take the sport seriously. And part of it, I think it became more of like the international influence, like okay. uh, women wrestlers overseas, like in Europe and then especially Japan. Now, I, I will say, since you talk, talked about Japan, what's her name? Matu, what's her name? Uh, Mako Satomura. Mako Satomura is one tough cookie. And I know that she is not a young cookie. She is a older woman who is a badass like her legs her calf muscles <laughs> she never skips so, leg day so look, this is what you how long she was around she was around when wcw was still on tv so she was around when we was like Dion's age yeah like she started that's when she kind of just started she was wrestling on uh monday nitro wow and then once wcw shut down you know she went on to japan and really built her stuff up there until we seen her um she came back to the States for the uh, when they did that tournament, the May Young Classic. The May Young Classic. I remember you sharing that with me. and We watched uh, the first one and the second one. Yeah. And I learned a lot about the new up and coming. It's somebody that ran in that building right there, so don't land there. Uh, we, the new up and coming women like Mercedes Martinez, uh, Rhea Ripley yeah. at the time. You know, I saw some of those women when they weren't so into their character you know they were still trying to find their footing right. um and it, it was iconic and i feel like as a woman you know we are so quick to be looked upon as we need to be gentle and soft but what i really like about women wrestlers is that they they embody femininity 
but like they are strong like the Amazons, like Jay Cargill. Jay Cargill is a bad bofo because her body is exquisite and she has one, she has a child. For her to really work on her body that way, and, and she's a dominant champion. How many days has she been undefeated? She's been undefeated like going on two years, I think. That is a long time to be the champ, and she's still the champ to this day. I really, 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 really love Jay Cargill. If you have not seen Jay, please look her up on Google. She is amazing. And her body shows her hard work and dedication. What do you think should be the next thing for Jay? Well, someone needs to come along like really push her, right? So, because so I think, think I, hadn't really seen, I hadn't really seen nobody challenge her. No, which is weird because Britt Baker and uh, Jamie Hayter, they're always only focused on the AEW championship. Yeah. And when they didn't have it, when Tony Storm went over there, she she had the uh, the title. They were so heavily focused on her, but they were they didn't even try to go get it from Jade. Do you think that they might be possibly afraid? It's a possibility, and also. You understand that TBS title was a new belt. Now, uh, Jamie Hayter at one point was in the tournament to crown the champ. So she was focused on it, but I think like something happened. I think Britt cost her something on accident that title. Mm -hmm. But you see, she's doing fine for herself now. She's got the she's the AEW women's champion, so she's holding the big belt right now. Right. Now she is the champ. Um, who else have we not seen uh, in AEW in a while? Um as far as women? Yeah. Chris yeah. Statlander. Chris, Chris Statlander. Now, where has she been? Have you heard any news about her? I know um, you already she, read, read the report. She had a knee injury. But she already had, like, some type of leg injury, right? Yeah, she came back from one, and she had another uh, injury. So that's and why that got to suck. It got to Because really, because uh, people have been actually wanting to see her and Jay square up for a minute. Mm -hmm. Now, I said Statlander isn't as, like, you know, sculpted. Mm -hmm. But she has Jay, a nice a, nice physique. Right, right. she's... Her body be, is banging. I like Statlander, yeah. Yeah, I love, like, and, and, she, and she's a natural athlete, too. Like the, Yeah, the I can are, tell that by really, her body form. Right, they're really getting opportunities to be um, more athletic, you know, really show off their craft. They don't have to do anything wild, like wrestle men or... Uh, got to shave their heads or, you know, show right. show some TNA. Right. Now, question. Does AEW have women tag team? They have women's tag. They don't have a women's tag division. And you know what? And that's the one thing I'll say that WWE still hasn't really gotten right as far as the tag division for the women. Oh, WWE, you don't feel like they've gotten it right either? No. Uh -uh. Even though they have titles for it, it's like the... There hasn't really been any solid like it ain't really made you stop and go, ooh, I want to see that you team. Know. What about damage control? You don't think that they are like a viable team to really focus on? I mean, <clears throat> with uh, I, okay, with uh, I had to think about their names. What's her name? Dakota, Dakota Kai, Kai and Yo Sky. Sky. Right. So here's my thing with that. Um, when it because there's not many women's teams, okay, you know, they don't really get a chance to really show what they can do. Like, there's never really been an established, you know, feud with a team over that belt. See, in sports, mm -hmm. it don't matter if it's, you know, let's say entertainment based like pro wrestling or even like, you know, football or basketball or whatever, you know, feuds and rivalries really make, uh, define Oh, well, somebody you know, just land on top of that building over there. Yeah, I don't have the high ground. I can't get them over here. They have the high ground. Right. <laughs> uh huh. They you said what feuds and sports? Right. Okay. Yeah. So you need a ri rivalries are needed in sports to really define. It really and, defines, you know, how like great the story. Too. Right. Not, yeah, the stories behind it and how great someone is. Okay. Right. Like, take a look at Muhammad Ali. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, everybody talks about how great he is, but. A lot of his career is defined by some of the, you know, great feuds that he had. You know, him and Frazier, him and um, George. I think he fought George Foreman, too. Yeah, you know, those battles really define his greatness. Okay. Okay. Um, Stone Cold, or let's go back with wrestling. Stone Cold Steve Austin, right? Mm -hmm. You know, even though his biggest rivalry 
for real was with Vince McMahon and messing with him and dealing with all his <laughs> stuff, right? His he's also defined by his rivalry with The Rock. Him and The Rock had a deep rivalry. They okay. even made invented like three WrestleManias. Okay, and with their with their their rivalry and, and stuff going on for three WrestleManias. Right, they had three. It, they spread out over three WrestleManias. They had like so a, it's uh, like a WrestleMania, like an annual show. WrestleMania, yeah, it's been an annual show for thirty years. So you mean to tell me that they was beefing for three years? Well, they'd be on and off beefing, and then their beef would have to be settled at WrestleMania. Oh, <laughs> so they had beef for three years. So it wasn't like for three straight years, it was just <laughs> beef. On site. Right, because, yeah. you know, things changed up. But, you right. know, those rivalries really right. define right. how great how great someone is. Okay. Okay, and overcoming that rivalry, you know, that really, because it builds out your legacy. I got you. Okay, like. It gives the fans something to um really kind of remember you by how great you were so on that note what do you think about the rivalry be- between edge and the, the judgment day it's um when it comes to edge and the judgment day mm-hmm. it's like um it's it's i've seen and you've seen the story before it, well in in different media like you know somebody starts something right to help someone out and as the group grows bigger, the original person they help decides to throw them out. Right. Or they bring somebody new in, and that new person takes over mm-hmm. and influences the original group. Okay. And then now the guy who started the group has to figure out a way to stop his creation. <laughs> to take them down. Yeah. So since we're talking about this group, tell me your feelings about Dominique Mysterio. I think it's good that he got away from his dad for a bit. Yeah, because it was it was getting corny. Right, because you're like, being tracked. Yeah. So it's like, okay, you're Ray Mysterio's son, and and oh, do you think that you you gonna get protected from this butt whooping? And then they was just targeting him, and he, I'm sorry, in my opinion, Dominic, he's not that good. He needed to go to NXT. He really did. He would have benefited now. He, in some like he did okay. Um, because he his first match was at SummerSlam mm-hmm. against Seth Rollins, so he had a big opportunity and he actually did fairly well. Okay. So like in ring wise, he's not bad, but he could have definitely used more time. I think that bringing him up on the main roster in a tag team forum where they immediately were like champs, right? Well, they weren't immediately immediately champs, but. You know, him being in the tag team did kind of help him out so he wouldn't have to carry a match, be carried yeah, in the carry, match, right. carry a match on his own. Right. Because he doesn't have the experience for it. Right. And even though, yeah, you're Rey Mysterio's son, it doesn't mean that you that you had the chops. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that looks so real. Did you see that? Yeah. That's the first time I think we've ever gotten in water on this game. Yeah, I see. So, tell me the matches that you're looking for. Since we we did wait a minute, well we did just come from elimination chamber. What was your perspective for the women's matches matchup uh, in elimination chamber? I you know I, I liked I know I liked it. it. It got physical. Um, I feel like the right the right woman won. I feel like Who, that, yeah. I feel like it, I feel like it's Oscar's time. I and like her a little bit more better since she turned into clown face Oscar. Yeah, and that was kind of calling back to a character she used to do in Japan. Uh, I think her name was Kana. Okay. Right, and and Kana was was a nut job. I can see that. I can see that. So you think that it was it was it was really Oscar's time to reclaim like her her road to glory. Yeah. No one's ready for Oscar. Right, because in her run through NXT, mm-hmm. and you seen that Oscar NXT, and she nobody could touch her. She was like a for like a good. Two, three years. Two, three years. Yeah, yeah, I remember. And then, you know, she lost at WrestleMania to Charlotte. Mm-hmm. And I think since that time, she, while she's been okay, you know, she's she still. She just didn't, she wasn't the same. Right, it wasn't the same. It's like she kind of lost that, ooh. That little fight in her That mystique to it, her. But, you know, it was her confidence. She went all that time undefeated and feeling like no one could be, take her down. And then she gets to the big show. Right. WrestleMania and Charlotte beats her. That's that that really 
takes a toll on your ego. You know? All right, you're safe. Good job. Oh, come on, man. I've been spinning all this. Oh, time. wait a minute. You leveled up, baby. What the hell? I oh. didn't even see him. I didn't even see him. I didn't, what, 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 yeah. what, what? Oh my God. Did y'all see that? I did not see that. Yeah. How, what? What happened? Hello? That's the only reason I don't like this game. I never see people. So what about. Oh, I got the, I got the slope, didn't you? I see. What are you, what, what about Brock Lesnar? <laughs> Fucking Brock Lesnar. Oh, yeah. And him, oh, there goes somebody. Him and uh, Bobby, uh, Bobby who? <laughs> Bobby Lashley. Oh, shoot. Dang it. Dang it, Bobby. Him and Bobby Lashley. What do you, what do you see in the future for those two? I think they got to go ahead and finish out at WrestleMania. They need a stipulation that match that's going to allow them to just go ahead. But no goofy stuff. Just, I think if they did like a last man standing or maybe even a fight pit. So explain to me what a fight pit is. Have I seen one since I've been watching it? Yeah. Uh, so when Riddle and Seth Rollins had that match in that cage. Oh, that was the fight pit. Yeah, they had it right there in the fight pit. Okay. Oh. So uh, speaking of Matt Riddle, have they released any new information about him? I know that after a couple of stomps by Seth Rollins, he just needed to take some time off. Um, so he did take, he is taking time off. He was, um, I forgot what they said was going on with him, but he's like, I think he was like, it was like, it was like a drug issue or something. So he's kind of, they kind of took him off TV to, so he can get himself together. Oh, okay. So his neck is fine, right? Yeah, he, he's okay. He just probably just need to sit out and take some time off, which he needed some time off. Because anyway. he was he he had been a workhorse, you know. Right, and then if you think about since um, I would say this because they he got a he even had an opportunity to go against Roman if you remember. Yeah, I remember. He did. Yeah, he had that opportunity he to did. take on Roman for the title, and he lost, and he just kind of been wandering ever since, right. you know. Hit Randy leaving that kind of that kind of uh, derailed his plans because he was happy just being a tag uh, team title uh, right, champion. Anyway. Yeah. So, question: We know about Roman Reigns. He's been undefeated now for how many days? I'll wait till you get down too. Where you at, boy? There he is, right there. How they hitting you, but you ain't hitting them. I'm cheating, bro. No, your aim trash, bro. Oh god. You getting hit, bro? You about to die, cuz. Oh god. Yeah, bro, bro. Alright, fucking come out. <laughs> How you gonna start the fight? I know. I was just playing. You don't wanna play fight no more. I don't wanna play no more. I was just playing, cuz. <laughs> Hey, but he just a trash. He let me get away. Well, what are you supposed to do? Jump down? You got to heal yourself, don't you? I'm, oh, you know, I heal automatically. Once oh, okay. I'm, once I'm able to get away from the bullets that's killing me, I'm good. Okay, so now I can ask my question. All right. Roman Reigns has been the... Oh, oh shoot! Oh, God, he got me anyway. Dang. Roman Reigns has been oh, the champion man. for how many days? About nine. So, so for 900 days, Roman has been the champion. Yeah, that is terrifying. Hey, are we are we about to punch? Uh, so he's been the champion for almost for 900 some odd days. Who do you think? I see. Who do you think? will have to dethrone him. Do you think it's going to be somebody inside of the bloodline? Well, right now, it's Cody's turn. So, oh, Cody Cody Rhodes. I don't think that Cody is ready for Roman Reigns. Cody just came back from a terrible injury. I don't see him being able to just go at him like that. Do you? 
Hey, but he's listen. That that's why he went through the Royal Rumble at WrestleMania. But he came in last. It, but seriously, thing, if you want to know something, the people who came oh. in last don't necessarily always win. Right. I know. I got that. What? Uh, so you get eliminated if if you run out of time? I guess so. Here, you want to try? It? You want to play? You want to keep it going? No, you go ahead. All right. I'm enjoying this. Oh, I made it to the top. Good job, GGS, GGS. So, so are you are you really saying that maybe that Cody does have an opportunity to dethrone Roman? I I think so. I think. Do you think there's going to be a lot of interference? by the Uso since Jay is not really feeling what Roman wants to do. It may be, it, it, you know it's going to be some type of shenanigans going on. So where do you see Sami Zayn's storyline going now that they had the big fight and he wasn't able to defeat him? He almost did, though. I didn't have any confidence in Sami. Uh, before that match even started. I'm just going to be honest with you. In my opinion, Roman is so dominant. Uh, he's such a force. And when he's wrestling, he's not that grappler. Roman is that destroyer. He's that that fighter that is going to try to break you. Do you understand what I mean? I see him being so overly aggressive and hardcore like Brock Lesnar. So... When Sami Zayn wanted to take him on, which I get it, it was his turn in his hometown of Montreal. I had no confidence in Sami at all. But he was really fucking roaming up. <laughs> you know, he almost had him. It had to the point to where Jimmy did have to come out there. He did have to super kick him in the face a couple of his face was stuck to Jimmy's foot. You know? So I knew that it must have been getting to that point Roman wasn't going to be able to kick out too many times. Yeah. Were you shocked at that match? Well, interesting. Sammy um, Zayn has always been one of the best um, performers in the world. Okay. Like, so he's been all over the world doing that. So seeing him put on a match like that, that's nothing new. Okay. You know, we saw it through NXT. Hell, he de- debuted on the main roster against John Cena. Oh, he did? Uni- yeah, over the United States title in... Montreal. In Montreal. He loved being in his hometown. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Right. You know, like, hometown love, babe. Right. Not just hometown. Like, everywhere still, they do the ole chants and everything. Ole, 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 ole. So, were you, what do you think that storyline is going to take Sammy, though? I'm going to tell you this. I, it's going to take them somewhere with Kevin Owens. So, you think KO is going to get involved? KO is going to get involved because... So in fact, he need, he he's gonna need KO. I I I believe you. I honest to God feel like he's gonna need some type of backup because when it comes to the bloodline, how they are able to stay on top is because of all the number games. They play the number game. Yeah. You know, there's so many of them, and there's only one of you. <laughs> so I get that. Um, what else can we talk about? What do you think about Austin Theory? I'm I'm glad to see where it's going because when he was doing stuff with the cell phone and being groomed by Vince McMahon, it, that was I that took a weird turn. It, it was just it was just very off putting. So it the fact great. that he kind of had to crash with the, with the whole money in the bank contract thing and then kind of rebuild himself back up, I think that should that shows that he needed that. I do like the direction of his character now versus how he came to the main roster with the cell phone thing. I feel like it just got played out, you know? Him wanting to take a picture with people after he knocked them out. It just got played out, right. you know? Um, I do like the direction that he, what he's doing with his character, but do you think that Austin Theory would ever be able to join back up with Candice LeRae and, and Johnny Gargano? No, I think... I think that that part of that is done. Okay. I don't feel like he needs to reach up because it'd be like he's going backwards. I I would I totally totally agree because he has really stepped out of that shadow of what he learned with Johnny Gargano. Right. Even when it comes to 
his costume. Remember, you used to have like that little vest thing. Yeah. You remember? Uh-huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so now that he's coming out, he looks more like a man instead of a little kid right. trying to pretend to be the man. I can see what what you mean. Now let's talk about uh, Candice LeRae and Johnny Gargano. Uh, they came up from NXT. They have, he had retired, right? Because him and his wife had a baby. So the deal was he didn't retire. He just didn't he didn't renew his contract. Okay. So he went on ahead before he signed on with anybody else and signed another contract. He's like, hey, listen, I got this kid coming. You know, he probably had to save up money and. I had to go back to doing appearances and, uh, you know, selling T-shirts. Yeah, selling merchandise. Yeah, selling merchandise. Okay. And I bet, like, I know that in their minds, they were go- they wanted to be domesticated. You know what I mean? They wanted to be home every day. <laughs> yeah. But the reality of it is, is that they have been athletes in NXT dominated for years yeah so i think that was gonna be a hard thing to try to switch or what do you think i mean and, and, and you and we all know this uh, anytime a, a baby is involved man it just throw you tell your whole life around. right and especially because they're like i mean they're basically like tour they're they're they're, they're always on tour basically mm-hmm. yeah. so they're always away from home they're not settled in and so for what they're doing so far, since they've been back, you know, it's admirable. It looks like for the most part, they haven't neglected their child. The baby just turned one. Right. So. And like, congratulations to them. Right. And also congratulations to Becky Lynch and Seth Rollins because they they had their baby. Right. And they're thriving, you know. So really what I see is like, and I know that a lot of, the older generation you know they don't believe in taking your kids on the road for your job you know stuff like that you need to be settled but i think that us millennials are learning that life can be achievable with your children you still don't have to give up your dreams yeah you know you don't have to sacrifice your your dreams but you can do your dreams and be a good parent you know exactly yeah Cause I'm trying to get that bag. I want to go everywhere around the world, but I want to take the kids with me. Is that bad? I know that's right. I want to go to Paris. So that brings me to my next question. What the hell is going on with that guy with the the little puppets? Oh, you talking about Bray Wyatt? Yes, I don't like Bray Wyatt. Are you, have you always, have you been a Bray, Bray Wyatt fan like all your life or what's been going on with that? I, I'm going to tell you this. I actually, when he was, um, when I first seen him and he was doing the whole, you know, cult leader gimmick fight from the swamp, I kind of did because like, you know what? I could see some weirdo like that um, in the swamp leading a bunch of big other weird, weird weirdos and jumping people. <laughs> okay, I can see that. Well, I, I, I okay. can see that. Pause. I'm gonna go get the kids so they all can say goodnight. Okay. Oh, I'll be right back, guys. They're gonna say goodnight to you guys. All right. Hi, baby. Good night. Good night. Love you. Thank you. <laughs> good night, beautiful. Tell the good people good night. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> That's my girl. Here come the boys. <laughs> yeah, um, but I can see why you would like Bray Wyatt when he was with the Swamp folks. He looked right. like he stank. And they had brainwashed him. Right. He he just be saying stuff like, come on, man, just follow the buzzards. No, the one that I kind of got to know a little bit more was when he was the fiend. Right. That was something he kind of, because 
somehow because people when they see a supernatural character in wrestling. All right, good night, Dion. Love you, man. Tell the people good night. Oh God, there's people on the rooftop. Yeah. All right, good night, boys. I love you. Good night, GGs. Yeah, GGs. Get some sleep. Oh, you're feeling, oh, I just got to sit here. That's pretty sweet. Oh, God. Drive, let's drive, drive, drive. Eighty two people in this game. Huh? I was going to find there.
Oh no, we right there. Hey, <laughs> I'm back in it though. What happened? I had to secure the little uh point right there and I was able to secure it before you could give me. Oh, okay. I was driving around in the oh, car. Oh, you got hit and you went into the gulag? Yeah, hey man, somebody sniped me from the window <laughs> while I was driving. I'm like, man, that ain't cool. So, what were we talking about? You were asking me about uh, Ray Wyatt. You said you got to know him as the Fiend. So I, right. I, I was really afraid of the Fiend. I, you know, that okay. character resonated with me. Right. But here's the thing. A lot of people, whenever there's a quote-unquote like supernatural character or like some creepy character, right? Mm -hmm. Whenever those type of characters come around, the first thing people always with five wrestle fans are guilty of is trying to compare them to the Undertaker. I can see that because like for a long time, the Undertaker was the big scary thing. Right. People were only going to WrestleMania just to fight him. Right. Well. No, I mean, I, like, right, yeah, he was like yeah, the 30, on, right. 30, what, how many wins? He was like, tw he, he, he had, he was with 21 straight WrestleManias undefeated. Undefeated. So, like, he was the big boss. Well, nobody, right, it's like nobody really made a big deal about that streak until, I think, after he did it the 10th time and he counted it up and then. You know, it just became a thing after that. They started mentioning it. So at first, it was never really like an intent like that. Okay. But I guess somebody started paying attention, like, oh, wait a minute. Undertaker's never lost to the WrestleMania. <laughs> it became a big selling point. I got you. So when I saw, because Bray Wyatt fought The Undertaker, didn't he? He, he fought The Undertaker like okay, okay. once or twice, yeah. But I can see why they would want to attach that to him. Do you think? In this time and day and age, that there will ever be another figure like The Undertaker? No, because um, here's the thing: when you when you're trying to, it's hard to do supernatural characters like that because you know today's wrestling fans, you know, they're a little bit more smarter now. Okay, so, so it's all that little of, uh, walking through the door way. Right, so, I mean, some of this, some of that is kind of cool. It, it's it kind of breaks it up a little, but you got to be careful as not to make it too cartoony. Okay, gotcha. Right, don't insult that, our intelligence right, too much. Right, it's like okay, yeah, but then now if you start doing you know too much weird shit, then it's becoming it becomes an issue. So I can understand that. In my perspective, um, there is only one Undertaker. Right. You know, the next big thing will come, but he it, it, he doesn't, his type of shadow that he brought to that um, organization does not, money, does, I know money when I see it, does not need to be reciprocated, if that makes sense. Right. So, I, I really respect that. I don't think there should be another like John Cena or anything. There only should be one. Oh, oh shoot. Oh, my gosh. Oh, top 50, almost top 50. Man, it sucks when you don't see where they shot you from, bro. Right. Like, that's so frustrating, bro. Um, now, I liked, I liked Stone Cold Steve, Steve Austin when he came back to fight with, uh, yeah, with Kevin Owens, but I felt like that was it. He didn't need to do any more. Um. How do you feel about Booker T and them knees at the Royal You know Rome? what? I was saying, <laughs> look, look, you know what? Booker T was one, one, of, one of, I can say he was one of my favorite wrestlers growing up. I love watching Booker T. Okay. Like, Booker T in his prime was like, was, was that dude okay. to me. Oh, 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 oh. It's two people, baby. Be careful. I'm sorry. We getting in the firefight. Oh, no. He gone. The other one got the light right there. Hey, that's kind of cool that you could do that. <laughs> so Booker T was um, someone that you really looked up to uh, when you were coming up watching him in the height of his career. Right. Um, who would have been that next figure for you? Like as far as 
male role models in the history in in the in the history of the WWE. I would say you know Booker T. Kurt Angle is definitely one of Kurt Angle's always going to be great because um, watching like knowing that he was like a legit um, wrestler. Okay. Right, you know, and, I, and after a long time, I was starting picking it up in high school. The fact that you know he went to the Olympics, he won it, and then he got to show that skill off, you know, on TV. Like they know it's really cool. No, I can understand that. Right, and he was, and he displayed it like he made the transition into it like very smoothly. Because I mean, in a way, he's kind of a, a, a corny ass dude, but he's funny. But I like him. But I, if I if I can be frank, I feel like him and uh that one boy is related. Are you talking about Chad Gable? Yeah, he Chad Gable looks just like her angle. It's weird. He has the same demeanor, the same. Ooh. Oh God! What was that? It was like a flashbang grenade. <laughs> but yeah, uh, like I was saying, Kurt Angle reminds me. Of, oh, you're going to have to run away from there because I, can, I can't see him either. Oh, money. Money, 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 money. I did not like his laugh. It's the ultimate troll laugh. That's oh why I use it. Ted DiBiase gives if you want to troll somebody, you got to use the Ooh, money, money, money. Now give the the audience, the viewers, um, a, a preview of how the Ted DiBiase laugh goes because I can't stand it. You know, just like think of like that evil. I know you can do it. Go ahead. Jackass left. I'm not ready. I'm trying to focus right now. Focus on what? You ain't about to die no more. But you is outside the circle, bro. I know. I'm outside the circle. I'm like in 34th place right now. Hey. Top 50, though. You made it past past that hump. Good job. Oh! Oh! I didn't even see that coming. Dang. That sucked. Oh, it was a landmine. Yep. Dang. Oh, I was a dumb dumb that fell right into it. Hey, but you got a lot of XP points. Now do the Ted DiBiase laugh. I don't want you to. That sounds just like that. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't like that. Man. <laughs> <laughs> What? Um, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm doing all the talking here. If I try, then I'm not gonna be able to talk. Um, so, wh- who is your favorite wrestler from AEW? I know we got AEW Rampage to watch tonight. I, I mean, actually, Dynamite. I actually have a couple favorites in there. Uh, Moxley is one, but hey, I like John Moxley. I can't believe that they stuck him with that character, yeah, Dean Ambrose, Ambrose when and he was at WWE. Now, when he was there and I watched him, he wasn't because he grew on me. Because when he came out with the Shield at first, I wasn't a big fan of the Shield at first. I didn't get like, okay, so they SWAT members, you know, <laughs> kind of you know I didn't get it, but like. Like really watching them perform, you know, you kind of saw something. Okay. So when you see, it's like I don't know what it is when you see it. It's so what they call it. Okay. So when you see it, it's like, hmm. Well, let me check them out. Then you start seeing them, you know, taking on feuds with, um, you know, they on screen they fighting the Undertaker, and then um, they going against Evolution with Batista and Triple H and Randy Orton. Oh, so that was that's what their faction was called, Evolution. I knew they were all yeah. together, but I never knew what it was called. Right, they were called Evolution. Okay. Yeah. Um. So, if you liked, who did you say you liked? ADHD squirrel. Yeah, yeah. Because I wouldn't even finish with my question. Oh, my man. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm so sorry. Like I got ADHD, bro. So, um, yeah. So when he was as Dean Ambrose, like he was cool, but then, you know, too much. Cartoon stuff will happen to him. Like he's fighting Bray Wyatt, he's about to hit him with a TV, and the TV like explodes. 
in his face, like, why would oh, I can, I, I can see I why like, y'all, you, would, you would be disappointed. That and, and then even he admitted that there was just some stuff in there that he just didn't like. And that's what, and they paid him a lot of money. He was going to do it for the money. He almost did it. But then he's like, man, they're going to really make me say no to all this money. But and you he, know what? Since <laughs> he's been with AEW, every time he's in a match, he's going to be bleeding. Like, and it's gory. It's like, how that, do he have that much blood to lose? That, that's... That's the kind of thing with him. But, I mean, his character is just that he's just a guy who likes to fight. If a person is in a fight all the time, chances are they're going to bleed all the time. <laughs> like, when I, I be hearing from other wrestling fans, like, oh, there he goes, bleeding again. But, like, if you, <laughs> you're a guy that's always fighting and, and don't care how he fight, he ain't trying to defend he himself. Be, I remember the first match that I actually paid attention since he it was John Moxley. You were watching AEW, uh oh, and he had a fork in his hand and was jabbing a fork in the dude's face. I was like, "Oh my God, is that allowed?" Oh yeah. <laughs> I was like, "That's that movie." And then he bit him. It's like you know when you fight him, you fighting a dog. Right. He he he. he he's scratching the claw. He at your back. you. He bite. He bite their head. If he'll have a fork and stab you, like that dude will do everything that he possibly can. Right. It's like he just got the he got to really cut loose. But he can also if he needs to, he can, you know, do the technical stuff when Right, I, and I see that. I see that side of him come out from time to time. But if they make him angry, if you piss him off during that match when he's trying to show more refined side, yeah, that dog gonna come off that leash. Now, I will say this, uh, and I'm going to move on to other wrestlers. I like AEW, too, about what really, like, sold me on him. So, he had a ladder match with Seth Rollins, right? And, you know, they was going there. Like, it was a really good match. Okay. At the end of the match, they, he did, he cut a promo at the oh, end of the match, right? Uh-huh. And he's like, you know, I didn't, like, I took the belt. Not because, um, you know, I felt like it because he said something like that because he stole the belt from him. Just, like, through the point. Okay. But basically, he's like, you know, hey, listen, life ain't fair. Things didn't go my way. You know, stuff. I'm from Ohio. I know what that's like. Like, he's basically was like actually talking to us. Okay. And he said, I'm going to do to take this leg back up. And I'm going to go ahead and give out and fight again. And I am going to be champ. Like, he was just laying out, listening to this stuff. Like, he was. He, he was, he was he talking was his talk. Huh? Right. So it was like, okay. Mm-hmm. I kind of was sold on him on that. So I was like, why should I pay attention to him? And then as, uh, after he got the chance to win the title. His reign was cool, but like you said, how he had, like, you need something to help define that type of stuff. There was really nothing there to define it, like, for real. Okay. So. So it couldn't really help sell his character? Right. I got you. I think that the the character and storyline has been the one thing that is the most important when it comes to wrestling. Yeah. In order for us to really truly understand uh, the passion that these people have and they're how overzealous or maybe they're obnoxious like MJF, they really need to develop a good storyline to really hook the audience in so it doesn't it's not just, oh, this is a jerk, <laughs> you know? So I get it. I really get it. Man, he was climbing for a long time. <laughs> oh, dang, there's something up here. <laughs> it's, more, it's more a ladder to climb. Are you going up higher? All right. Now, you said you had more wrestlers. Yeah, so uh, out of those, um, I like watching the Hangman. Hangman okay, Adam so we, we got uh, Mox, John Moxley, uh, at, was Hangman, Adam yeah. Page. Mm-hmm. So what do you like about him? I know he's supposed to be like the anxious cowboy, right? Well, it's, that, it's just interesting in his journey because he's shown potential that he can be that guy, and he's really one of the best, but, you know, his own doubts kind of cripple him. Okay. Like so that, he gets, he he's insecure. Right. He gets in his own head a lot. But, you know, if when he gets out of his head and spoke to me, you've seen it. He beat Kenny Omega for the championship. And that brings me to the next guy. Kenny, by God, Omega. <laughs> I love Kenny Omega. I do not like his hair. His hair is trash. <laughs> but I love him as a wrestler. That's, what's that little snap? Dragon, oh, man, dragon. man, that that move, man, that's gonna hurt anybody. I don't care how professional they are. 
when they get snapped in that snapdragon, it hurt the back of that neck. Okay, for real. I really like that. Yeah. Um, who else? So you said John Moxley, uh, Hey Mount Adam Page. Right, you brought up Kenny Omega. Like, I like Kenny. So that's okay. That could be your um, number three. Yeah, uh, I said since he, we got to see more of him. I really dig Kenosuke to uh, to cash it. I like Takeshna too. Like I don't know like what it is about Takeshna, but he, even though, because I don't think he speaks, does he speak English? He speaks a little bit of English. But he said, right, oh, be careful, that's two. Wasn't that two? Oh, no, that's just something falling out the tree. He, his, his commitment and dedication to professional wrestling is like no other. When I tell you Takeshna, can go, he can go. If he can stand that ring with uh, Ryan Danielson and all the rest of those major, major heavy hitters, like, didn't he fight Mox? Yeah, he went against Moxley. Even though he lost, he won. Yeah. You want to know why? He gained the, a tremendous amount of respect and experience fighting those people. Because yeah. they, they are the goats. They are the greats. You know? Who else? Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. I'll say this. I, I like Orange Cassidy, the best friends. Okay, I like Orange Cassidy, too. All he does is this. <laughs> <laughs> right, but but he shows, because I didn't get Orange Cassidy at first. Like, like who is this dude? Yeah. Like, but then I watched him, I'm like, okay, so you know, he looks like a lazy bum. He, he can go in the ring when he needs to. I can see that. Right, and then the best friends, um... Uh, Hey, they they stuff is kind of fun. Like even though they 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 give it can be a little little much at times with the hugging and everything. They they've had some good mat- matches in the ring too. They they kind of funny in a way, and they got a chance to prove how good they are when they won that street fight against the uh, Santana and Ortiz. That's what kind of really sold me on them. Okay, it's like you know yeah we like to do the whole hug thing and be good, but if you push us, you know we gonna fight. So would you say that? Their gimmick doesn't block the the whole image of them being real dominant pro wrestlers. I don't think so because um, even though yeah they're doing their, their gimmick because I mean a lot of people can take it like oh but he's not gonna do do that it's like people are like that in, in sports there's always like some weird dude like in football I or, got you um, uh, and, uh what what was his name Dennis Rodman Dennis Rodman yeah. you see this. This dude just wearing a wedding dress, and married himself. <laughs> hey, but, but you know what? You know what? But you know what? About Dennis Rodman. <laughs> Dennis Rodman, all through the nineties, he he was winning NBA championships. He was with um, what was the girl? The hot, the Cindy Crawford. I don't know. It was one of them. I forgot. Uh, Carmen Electra. I, I remember he was with Madonna. Yeah, Madonna. Car- he was smashing Madonna. Carl Electra. He was in the NWO fighting Carl Malone on WCW. Wait, but he was in the NWO. Yes, James Robin was in the NWO, and he fought Carl Malone. <laughs> Carl Malone. <laughs> so they put him up against another basketball player. That's how fitting. That's funny. Yeah, like Carl Malone and Diamond Dallas Page was a tag team <laughs> against Hollywood Hogan and Dennis Robin. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. At a thing called uh, at a pay per view called Road Wild in Sturgis, South Dakota, where there's like a big motorcycle show, and you know, the people do things. They they say the N word. <laughs> oh <laughs> no! Oh, they motorcycles. Oh man, that sounds like a lot. And it was outside. In the- <laughs> that sounds like a lot. Yeah. Um, but that's interesting. So I get it. You know, you need those quirky characters. I would say I'm going to switch gears from AEW and go to NXT. I would say the quirky characters over there are pretty deadly. Yeah. Hey, but I saw a different side of pretty deadly yesterday. Yeah, they started showing more deadly and less pretty. And less pretty because, you know, the pretty boy, it just knocks you off your feet. They got they come out and they got wind and slow mo and they shirt stop up here at their boots. It's also, yes, boy. <laughs> so they are very pretty. Oh, oh God. no! Oh no! Oh! 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 Dang. Oh! Oh! Come on, man! That, that, he had the high ground. Hey, you got you got. Pity. It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't. Now you can do. 
Dang. Everybody just keeps hiding out stuff. Man. And sometimes you gotta hide out. That's me. <laughs> hey, I missed the fist fight. Yeah, was... I'm getting loaded real soon. Now, you know what? It don't matter what version of Hook Man going, I'm still getting burped in this game. <laughs> oh, oh see. come on, man. Come on. Oh. Come on. Gosh. Oh man. You going back in? Oh, you got back in? No. no you did. You playing again? Oh, you okay, one more time. Yeah. All right, and Somebody, then oh, we're going to call it the night? Yeah, we're going to call it the night. Because I do want to go watch uh, hey, Dynamite. Yeah. Dynamite. And we still ain't hey, finished up watching NXT, though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. we still got to do that, man. Still got to do that. Yeah, so, oh, so to kind of answer your question, like, um, and then it's because I ain't going to say my favorite side of the NXT. Okay. Um, now, of course, uh, Brian Breaker, as I said, because he his family's been in the business and a Hall of Famers, mm -hmm. that's going to give him an advantage. I'm not going to say he's going to be like, you know, a big star, but he's he's got a he's got a more of a head start than a lot of other people would. I I get that though. You yeah. know, he's supposed like he's, to. Right now, he work. Now, I'm not saying that he don't work. He works his ass off. No, like, but I he just, he's supposed to. Yeah. Like it, that was that's just like us. Okay. We've set up this live streaming on Facebook Gamer, right? Yeah. Um, the kids should have a leg up by the time they become adults over this because the idea is to pass this to them, right? Right. But if people their age are just starting, you know, there's a they're going to be having to go through those hurdles of building a platform and everything like we did, you know, but that just at that moment. It, that's the same thing with Brian Breaker. Mm. You know, he is supposed to have a leg up because his father and his uncle were bread and butter for the industry. He was the closest thing to him, so he should be able to be that super athlete plus his own determination and talent. Right. Because I'm just going to tell you, just because you're a second, third generation, don't mean that you're about that life. Right, because I'm going to tell you this, everybody thought Michael Jordan's sons were going to be those guys. You know? Well, how about that one dude that's on AEW? Oh, Brian Philbin Jr. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. He, he kind of. I was being nice, girl. Hey. That man is all of it. Oh, get him. Get him. Get him. Oh, God. Hey. <laughs> I was in there like the Terminator. Hey, you was getting it. Anybody else? Um, Let's see. I'm gonna tell you this. I'm, I I love watching Carmelo in the ring. Carmelo Anthony. Uh, you Carmelo like Carmelo Hayes? Hayes? I love watching Anthony. Carmelo Hayes. So and this is NXT. Yeah, NXT. Uh, Carmelo Hayes. He's nice. I'm I'm gonna tell you this. He might be doing something else, but I miss Cameron Grimes. I like Cameron Grimes. But I think Cameron had to take some time to really figure out the direction with his his character. Right. You know when I when I start paying attention to wrestling with you, he was that heel Yeah. Then he went from hillbilly to. He, he got a fortune. Right, and then he, but he's he, hillbilly. No, but you know he was dressed in suits, so it, to me he kind of looked like Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> you know, it's like this man who goes to work, but he like secretly got a sex room. You know, I, that's what I. <laughs> uh oh, he got a hillbilly sex room. <laughs> Baby, I'm going to take you to the <laughs> the, the password is a uh, cowgirl. Like, no, let me out. But yeah, you know, like he need he needs to really focus back on his character, character development and where the story is going to go. Yeah. But I understand he's a really good fighter. Right. Like he, he, he does it with a lot of passion. Like I did. And that movie does the cave in where he like stomps to me. Mm -hmm. That's me. You know who I'm not too sure of in NXT right now? Who's that? The Gallus Brothers. Oh, Gallus Boys. Oh, Gallus Boys. I don't really like them, per se. You know, they they, they like them big English groups. Yeah, but they I don't like, like them because they came in. Causing a ruckus. Yeah, and they were just so brutal that they got put off the show for like months, you know? It was, it was just running amok, in my opinion. But 
That's my thing. Uh, what do you think about Tyler Bate? Oh yeah, I, I'm always done Tyler Bate. Like I watch, I like when I did catch some of NXT UK stuff, and Tyler Bate would be on there, like you know him and Pete Dunne going at it, and then you know he went at it with uh at the time his name was Walter Gunther. Hey Gunther, Gunther chop your ass. That's it. <laughs> Oh yeah, man! Like your boobs are gonna chop the hell out of you. Your chest gonna be done. Oh, it's, you gonna have chesticles once it's done. Ain't no chest, just chesticles. Uh, who else in NXT do you think is really? Who do you think right now is ready for the main roster? I don't think this. I think Carmelo's ready for the main roster. I think I think I think for Brown Breaker, it's been time to go ahead. And, um, I think it's time for him too. I thought I was the only one that felt that way. He's having to put too much of his body on the line in the development uh, portion. Right. I, I I think he's already there. Like he doesn't need to be like if they worry about him, you know, talking and everything. Like he does fine. Like everybody doesn't have to have like the slickest promos and the greatest promos. Because I'm the Wig talking, shoe slapping, you know, like that, that. Some of that just kind of played out, right? Like you know, you you ain't gotta like be the best talker, but like you know, keep me interested at least. So what? If, uh, well, since we're gonna talk about talking, uh, how, how do you feel about that meathead <laughs> on NXT, Von? Von Wagner. Hey, look, like he from the Stone Age. His head is so goddamn. Now, does that happen from being dropped on your head, or? or I think I think this is how his skull is formed. That's oh. just you know, he just looks like a Neanderthal. Oh. That's weird. Anywho, what do you think about him? Oh, are you in a poison? No, I ain't poison. Oh. So, what do you think about him? Do you think that he's like? Um, anywhere near ready to be on the main roster? I don't know. He's like this, the big group. Like, he could come on there, you know, he'll smash a few guys. <laughs> pause. Okay. <laughs> That's a pause on this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he ain't done it the wrong way. Okay, now where... So he he'll probably, but I don't know. I don't really see much of him yet. Like I'm not, I'm not really sold on on Bob Wagner. Me neither. Like he's, I don't know. It's like he's, he needs something else, and Robert Stone ain't it. Ain't it? Yeah, I don't see that being it either. Um, who else do you think? I know Toxic Attraction has fallen apart, Honestly, and now we're left with J.C. Jane. Which really. It sucks that they had to break up because, and I know the reason I say it sucks is because for the women's tag division, and we came back to this, they there's a lack of teams. Okay. Like, you know, really none of the cha- you none of the champs that held those titles, you know, nothing against the performers that held the titles. You know, Naomi and Sasha was trying to do something with them, mm-hmm. but you know, creative differences didn't let that happen. So Naomi, Naomi and Mercedes, or AKA Sasha Banks, were the tag team uh, champions right. of what? Of, of was that Raw? Right, it was Raw and SmackDown. Oh, over Raw. So they were just Smackdown. the women's tag champions. Oh, okay. And what happened creatively again that caused them not to be a part of the company anymore? So basically, what was going on? There was going to be like a. Uh, a six woman match, right? Mm-hmm. And them two were in the match to see who would be number one contender for uh, the Raw Women's title. They didn't want to fight each other in that. They were trying to really build the belts back up. But because of that, they just, you know, they said, no, we'll forget it. This is how it's going to be. We out. So, but that's also a time when they didn't really have a lot of staff, too. Right, they didn't have a lot of teams. It wasn't like enough because you know they did all the roster cuts, right? This yeah. was before. This is during the pandemic. Well, right. Well, it was not during. This was just after the pandemic. They let all those people go, and Vince McMahon was still kind of running things. Okay. You know, once Vince, um, 
once Vince was was had left the company because of um, he did some stuff, <laughs> you know, Triple H took over because he had a relationship with most of that staff there because they came from NXT and he helped develop them. You know, it's building up a uh, more more rapport, right? right more rapport. I, I can I gotta be honest with you. I really love Triple H being back in a creative sense because everybody that I fell in love with in, in NXT under his reign is now on the main roster, and it's the next chapter. Right. It, it feels it like feels, this is what they're, right. they're supposed to be doing. Yeah. Before he came, I was a little lost. I didn't know what the hell what was going on. You know, he was making up storylines right in front of us, and then it wasn't playing out. You understand what I mean? Right. Oh, what happened? Don't talk to my Hey, how does he do that? Here? <laughs> he ran that way. That's all I know. He right there behind that car. Yeah. Nope. What you just said. Yep. He right there behind that car. Shoot the car. Nope. Hey, watch your six. So you said that uh is it Raw that's coming here or yeah, Raw Raw. Uh, do you wanna go? I do wanna go. I wanna go too. You yeah. think the kids will pay attention to it? I mean I mean it's a live show. It's a live show. That's not something that we really get to do often. Right. It ain't he right there by the car? Oh no, that's just the black part of the car. There he is, right there. Yep. Oh! He has shit with the scope on the door, man. That's cheating. You're not cheating. He had, he had the scope, didn't he? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no. On the ground. That's the only thing we understood. Yeah, but like you, but I was agreeing with you. What you were saying about um, this being the next chapter, you know, with Triple H ran, and and just showing that he really does have a good creative mind. Mm -hmm. You know, especially how he's kind of took over the story with the bloodline. Yeah, I can see that. Oh, come on with it, baby. Come on with it. Dang. Oh. oh well. Oh. All right. Well, we're gonna wrap this up, y'all. Thank you so much for hanging with us this evening. All right. I'm your girl, Dami Nash. This is G underscore Nash eighty six. Make sure that you are tuning in and turn on live notifications. We are so happy that you're here. We have been streaming live from our Instagram account. So if you have not um, connected with us on Instagram, please do so. It's gaming at the Nash House. This has been a wonderful evening. Hopefully, you learned a little bit more about us and our love for wrestling while we were playing Call of Duty and Fortnite. Yeah. <laughs> Until next time, when you when we streaming again, so we can let them know. Um, I think we'll try to stream tomorrow. I'm gonna stream some Injustice. So yeah, that look forward to that. Um, Injustice Two. We're gonna stream a little bit of the story mode. We got a little bit done, but and had a chance to get into it. So tomorrow, um, evening, probably around seven or so. Okay. Yeah, so I have time to be with the kids or whatever. That's fine. And, and what we'll do uh, tomorrow at around 7, I'll put together an event so people remind people. But what we want to do is let's talk about and do a recap of tonight's episode of AEW Dynamite. All right, we can do that. All right. All right, so can I stay tuned for that tomorrow? Wrestling fans in there that like gaming and wrestling. Yeah, Come yeah, yeah. Maybe both. All right. Thank you so much again for tuning in. Uh, let's turn you on the tune on your way out. And then we're going to get you on a raid. No, it's fine. It's so techy.